that's for the number guessing game. Um, I add in a couple extra features to make it a little bit better. So the first thing I want you to do is make a block called number guessing game. We're going to use um, script variables throughout this. And a script variable is what we would call a local variable. So it's only able to be used inside this block. I can't use it outside of the block. So I'm going to start by using secret number variable. And I'm going to set that secret number to a random number from 1 to 10. And I'm going to add in some things as I go along. And then I'm going to ask the person to guess a number from 1 to 10. We're going to use a repeat until that will keep checking or keep asking them to pick a new number as long as their answer, which is what goes along with the ask. So this is the first time we're using the ask block. So what happens when you run an ask is a, like a um, speech bo box pops up or a text box pops up down here and you'll be able to type in your response and that response gets stored in answer and you can check on the answer if you want to see it. Um, the one thing you have to keep in the back of your mind is the every time you use this it overwrites the previous answer. So if you need to use that answer somewhere else in your program and you end up asking a new question you're going to need to store that answer into a variable. Um, we, we don't need to do that for this because we're just going to keep checking over and over again if the answer is equal to the secret number. Um, so we're going to just slowly increment. We're going to add in a couple things and then I'm going to change some things up. So right now, and the other thing is if you want to show this variable, you have to use this block to show it. But then I like to hide it at the end. Otherwise, a bunch of temporary variables pop up here and you got to drag them off the screen. Um, a global variable, if you were to click this and make a variable, it's a little bit nicer because all you have to do is click the box on and off. Um, but they want us to use a, a local variable in this lab, so that's what we'll do. All right, so I'm going to test it out and just we'll just see what happens. So I know the number's two, so I'm, I'm not going to guess two. Oh, well that was stupid. I need this to be an ask. All right, so now the number's seven. So it didn't hide it because I didn't let it run through the code, so I'm going to have to drag that off. All right, so I'm going to guess five. It's telling me to guess again, so now I'll guess seven. And then it stops. So normally, you don't just have the program stop. You want to say something. So once it comes out of the loop, once this is true, the answer equals secret number, it'll pop out. And then we can just say, congrats, you guessed the number. Now throughout the lab, they want you to kind of start adding things. So I'm going to tell you what I want you guys to add um, for the lab. So we're going to add in a maximum number. So the player is going to input a maximum number that they want to guess from, or guess from one till that number. We're going to keep track of the guesses and only let them have five total guesses. We are going to tell them if their number is higher or lower, or if they should guess higher or lower. And then, like, at the end, we're going to have them ask if they want to play again. So there's, like, uh, you know, a few things that are in the lab in the actual BJC Snap, and then a couple things I wanted to add just for my own thing. So we're going to, we're not going to need to make a variable for the max number. Um, you can, but it's not necessary. I'm going to say, what should... 
the maximum number be. And then what I want to happen is I want the secret number to be picked from one to their answer. And then instead of saying guess a number from one to 10, I'm going to use the join block, which will concatenate this string with the variable. Well, it's not technically a variable, but um, I guess it's a temporary variable answer. So guess the number from one, two, and then make sure you delete the number 10. And then we're going to put answer there. So if you stored, if you wanted to make a, a max number variable, you could, and then just set the answer to that. And then you would have that here and here. But since I don't ask another question until I literally already use it, I don't need to worry about it. Okay, so now I'm going to test this out. You always want to kind of test incrementally so you don't get stuck at the end trying to fix a million things. So I'll say 100. And now I know the secret number, 69, so I, you know, I can guess a number that's not that, and then I'll guess the actual number, and it tells me I got it. All right, so now I want to add in if they should guess higher or lower, which will need an if-else statement. And we're going to say, it doesn't matter if you choose to use less than or greater than, I'm going to say if the secret number is less, or well, popped in there, so I'll leave it there. If the answer is less than the secret number, so if the number I picked is less than it, I need to guess higher. So I'm going to just, instead of saying guess again, I'm going to say guess higher. And then if it's not that, that means it's, we need to guess lower. And then I'm going to, let me see. I'm going to, no, I didn't use that yet. All right, so let's just test this. 100, 14, 17, 15, okay. So now, since that works, I'm going to add in a variable for guesses. And I'm going to set, there's a couple ways you could do this. I'm going to set guesses to zero. If we're going to have a max of five, you could also set it to five and go backwards. I'm going to set it to zero and go up. So I need to increment it every time I ask them to guess a number. So the first time I ask it is here. So technically you could set it to one and then just not, you know, increment it here. I'm going to just change it by one here. And then the other place I need to do it is after they guess here and here, I'm going to change it by one again. All right. And since I want to limit the number of times they can guess, I'm going to need an or statement here. And I'm going to, doesn't matter which side you use that on. Um, and I'm going to get another equals and see if the guesses is equal to five. So what you guys need to remember is once one of these happens, it comes out of the loop. And as of right now, it would tell me, congrats, you guessed the number, even if I ran out of guesses. So we need another conditional if-else statement outside of the loop to make sure that when I tell them congrats, it was because they got it right. So I'm going to duplicate this, put it there, and then I'm going to else say, sorry, you ran out of guesses. So I'll we'll say 10, three, one, I'm going to run out of guesses. All right. I 
already know the other way works. So now I want to tell them how many guesses they took. And here in this part, I'm going to concat use a join to tell them how many guesses they took. And then here I want to tell them what the secret number was. So I'm going to use a join in both. I'm going to copy this though. So when I put the join, I do not lose it. So I'm going to put the join. I'm going to paste it in here and say, congrats, you guessed the number. You took, make sure you have a space, and then get your variable guesses. You could just duplicate it there. And then remember, that's a number. So you need to actually write the word guesses. So you're going to put a space and then I'm just going to be a little lazy and put ES for guesses because if they get if they get it on the first try, it's going to say you took one guesses. So I'm just going to put it ES. Technically, I would say maybe put another if else in here and check if the you know, if guesses equals 1, then you would say something versus if you know, it's more than one. But I'm going to leave it like that. And then here, I'm going to copy this use another join, paste it, say sorry you ran out of guesses, the secret number was, and then I'm just going to duplicate, and then you can add a period if you want, I guess it's not necessary, um, and then the last thing I'm going to do, I should test it, but I'm, I'm just going to finish it off here. I want to ask them if they want to play again. So I'm going to go here and say, do you want to play again? And then we're going to need an if else. We're only going to check if they say yes. I mean, obviously they could say yay or why or, you know, there could be multiple things. So you could do like if answer equals yes or answer equals why or answer equals or you could even check, do like a repeat until they say yes or no, making sure that they say yes or no. Um, I'm just, we're just going to make this a little bit simpler and just say if answer equals yes. Since this whole game is in a block, I can actually just call the block. It's a little recursion here for you just calling the block in itself. And then if not, we'll just say something like, thanks for playing. All right. And let's test this out. So I'm going to guess it right. Took one guess. Yes, I want to play again. It asked me a max number again. I'm going to get it wrong. Ran out of guesses. Secret number is three. And now I'm going to say no. Thanks for playing. All right. So, I mean, if you want to get a little fancier, you can add a character in there. You can do like when the space key is pressed, make it a little easier to get started. Um, but that is it. So make sure when you turn it in, you make a shareable link, name it number guessing game. If you have any questions, let me know.